speak to me. Okay, I just want to talk to you about the biggest assets owned by a university graduate and how to uniquely uh, monetize these assets. Okay, <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'm not gonna waste your time. And I'm going to talk about this in five different, like I, I have five different points to share with you. The first thing is what is an asset. The second thing is what is the biggest asset owned by a university graduate. The third thing is how do you uniquely monetize this asset, right? And then I'm going to talk to you about why some people may not agree with my view and my comments on that. And then I'll tell you what to do next shall we start <laughs> okay so the first thing is what is an asset and i'm going to be using a very simple definition that can be understood by a six year old okay a six year old so that definition is by what oh it's by my business mentor robert kiyosaki ah maybe you don't know that name but you probably heard of reach that for that right Okay, he's the author of Rich That Porter, Robert Kiyosaki. He's a man I love so much. Anyways, he defines an asset as anything that puts money in your pocket, whether it's at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the year, or long term. Anything that puts money in your pocket, right? And by extension, he defines a liability as something that takes away money from your pocket. All right, so so that's what an asset is. Now the other question is, which is the central question for today? What is the biggest asset owned by a university graduate? Hmm. I mean, I'm sure you're like, uh, let me see what the Dr. is going to say. <laughs> In case you don't know who is talking to you, my name is Dr. Linda Iheme. I'm an educational consultant with Vantage Migration. All right, we train students on how to go abroad to study. How to secure admission and scholarship abroad. All right. So, uh, with that said, let's jump back to the main question, which is what? What is the biggest asset owned by a university graduate? You're still wondering, right? My answer to that is that it is your degree certificate. Okay, this is not a degree certificate, but I'm just gonna lift it up in the sense that usually the degree certificate comes in form of like one maybe half copy paper, you know. So that degree certificate is the biggest asset owned by a graduate. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you why some people may not agree, right? But why have I said that? Because that certificate can be monetized, right? Can be monetized, and people have been people have been doing this uh, since time immemorial. For example, you are a graduate, you finish. When you finish, what are you going to do? Most people will look for a job. When you are looking for a job, what are you going to be telling them? I have a degree certificate. Let's say, okay, take me for example. I read dentistry. So when I finish, I'm a dentist, and I'm going to use my dental degree right to apply for a job so the point is that that degree certificate is the biggest asset that you have as a graduate as a graduate you may not have money you may not have house especially for the younger graduates okay like within five years of graduation and even in extension many people within 10 years of graduation they don't even have a house they may not have a car they may not have started family you know but one thing that is unique to all graduates is that you have a degree certificate so when you want to talk about something that can be generalized you will say that degree certificate is the uh, is the biggest asset owned by graduates all right now one other thing i want you to know is that already uh, uh, you know that that certificate can get you money let's say you get a job or something right but that is what you uh, that is the known but there is another way that you can uniquely monetize this which is the third point right how do you uniquely monetize your degree certificate how are others doing it okay 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 i know you want to hear that right so to uniquely monetize your certificate one thing that you can do is to use that your degree to apply for a higher degree for you to study on scholarship i'm telling you this is a no-brainer it's not simple right but a lot of people are not thinking about it that way so you see someone that will say oh i have a bsc or ba or bng or whatever you know 
or even masters, right? I say, oh, I have masters in public health. But to them, that certificate looks useless. You know why? Because they don't know how to monetize it. Because without that certificate, if you were just to, if you apply for admission, especially abroad, and apply for scholarship, you see that you can use that your degree to get scholarship, irrespective of the grade. So the grade does not matter whether you have top class, first class, middle class, whatever you call it, the grade does not matter. Provided you have a certificate, you can apply for admission for a higher degree abroad, and then you can get it on scholarship. And let me tell you, you may tell yourself that getting a job is one way to monetize your uh, your certificate, right? Correct. But but take me for example, when I finish and I'm a day, I, I, I finished as a dentist, I was working in my home country, right? How much was I being paid to convert it to dollars? It's like maybe 300 400 okay let us let, let 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 me just be large and say a thousand dollars a month that that's what i would say like in three months i get twelve thousand dollars right that is, and trust me that's not how much i was paid i just made it high you know i know some people earn more but a lot of people earn way way less a lot of graduates earn way less right okay so but with scholarship uh, my scholarship was uh, roughly thirty thousand plus dollars the first year, and this was repeated the second year just for the masters. And then I eventually got um, masters for um, scholarship for PhD as well, which uh, University of Waterloo was kind enough to give me. I think total of about a whole, more than a hundred and fifty thousand dollars if you add everything together. What a scholarship for my PhD. So if you add both, you see that suddenly. That's my degree certificate is now worth more than two hundred thousand dollars, right? So think about it. Think of how much you are earning now. How many years will you have to work to get two hundred thousand dollars in your home country? You see the point? You see the point? So you you may be monetizing your certificate by working, but if you were to apply for the next, uh, if you were to apply for the next program. I had to say a master to a PhD and you get it on scholarship, you would have earned maybe your ten thousand uh, sorry, your ten years worth of salary you earn it within one year or two years. You see the point. I've worked with clients, I've worked with clients that went abroad to study or that are going abroad to study and they secure scholarship. For example, I worked with a client that um uh, well, after they removed school fees, he was to be getting twenty thousand dollars a a year, and his PhD was for four years, eighty thousand dollars, right? And this is like minus. He will still be able to work. So, a study of scholarship doesn't mean he can't work, right? He will still be able to work. So, but this is like minus every other thing. Okay, I still work with another client. This one with the school uh, school fees included, she was going to be earning around the uh, twenty-seven thousand dollars, and that was the scholarship we knew about. As of the time she was applying, I've also worked with others you see to something thousand dollars or thereabouts, right? So whether it's masters or PhD, but even if it's masters and you multiply that by two, you're talking about roughly fifty thousand dollars just like that. And most of you, one year or two years, how many years do you have to work in your home country in order to get that amount of money with your certificate? So I say that applying for the next degree. Right, and getting it on scholarship is a unique way for you to monetize your degree certificate, which is the biggest asset that you have right now. Okay, so I, I know people may not agree with this because they're just like, ah, oh, no, some some graduate, somebody will say some grad, a one graduate started school, or finished school, started a job, uh, started a company, and blew got ten ten billion dollars, whatever you call it. But the question I have for you is that how many of them did that with scholarship? And Everyone can get it, but how many people will finish school, start a job, and get ten million dollars in one in one year? You know that is a rare occurrence. So I'm not talking about a rare occurrence here. I'm talking about something that everyone can benefit. So if you want to learn how to uh, secure admission and scholarship abroad, irrespective of your grade, provided you're a graduate. I advise that um, first check the description of this video. I'm going to put the link to our free webinar. Or you can follow us on social media, Dr. Lydia Iheme or Vantage Migration.